Hey guys, I'm doing a huge giveaway. All you need to do is like this video, subscribe to the channel, and turn the notification bell on. Leave a comment down below with your in-game name, in-game ID, and the skin you want that's under 300 diamonds. So with that, best luck, and I'll see you in the video. Yo guys, welcome back to Team Assassination. How's everyone doing? Today we got something super special for you. My good friend Gosu KZ, uh, one of the best ever player in the world, has agreed to finally, finally um, show the world his secret farming technique. Okay, this technique, I, I can almost guarantee you that most people, 99.9% .9 of ML players, do not know this. And advanced, good players, uh, new players included. This is gonna, this is gonna be a trick. This is gonna be a trick that's gonna change your life. If you are a jungle farmer, if you're a mid laner that value farm a lot. Uh, personally, when I play saber, I do not take retribution. But if you are a saber that's really good at positioning and really good at knowing your um, you know your limit, go in and go out, and you take retribution, that can actually put you ahead, really really good. And obviously, Kozu KZ is one that person, and he, uh, and see he has a super code name. Storm Saber skin, and then he started off the game getting a small minion next to the mid lane, and then he go back to lane, clean the lane really fast, and come back for the blue buff. Obviously, Rafaela was uh, doing the blue buff right there. I don't know if he was uh, helping or he was just trying to take it, but but Saber ended up taking it, KZ ended up taking it, and um, um, and he come back to lane immediately. Right at this point, I think he has enough gold. As you can see right now, he has 784 gold. The initial jungle item was 250, that means he has enough gold to upgrade the item, but he did not upgrade the jungle item. What he did is he come back to the red buff, he used retribution once on the red buff, and he upgraded it, and if you, if you notice, the retribution just become available again. So this is one of the tricks that you want me to mention to the viewers, where upgrading jungle item from level 1 to level 2 will actually refresh the cooldown on retribution, meaning you can use it twice in a short succession. So. Um, it's very, it's very unique trick that I, that I actually heard of, but I never did it before. Apparently, he was doing it all this time, and that allows him to take down the blue buff, uh, red buff. Sometimes I was just amazed how do you get the buff down so fast, and now I realize this is how you do it. Okay, he was able to use retribution twice on the red buff, and you just saw the red buff just get melted. It's like kind of like hacking, but legally, you know. <laughs> so it's it's one of the really cool things. Another thing you notice, KZ does the entire game. He is really on top of getting those last hits on the minions. And here we see a small engage on the, on the top lane here, top jungle. He immediately dashed and ulti the Maya, might end up dying. And at this point, he's really ahead on farm. Like he's level five, go level six. Everybody else level four and under. And you see KZ come here to mid lane again, and he's purposely waiting. He didn't, he wasn't last hitting all the time like a lot of people would. would. What he did was he was waiting and he was pacing himself to make sure he get the last hit on minions. Now I did a quick math on this, and I personally do this, but I never did the math for it, right? Because I know if you last hit the minion, you get a little bit extra gold and extra expense. But how much do you actually get? So this is the difference, right? If you just get, uh, if you don't get last hit, if you just kill the minion, uh, let the minion kill the minion, or let some let the tower kill the minion, you will get 12 less gold per melee minion. Compared to if you would have taken the last hit, meaning like you, you took the killing blow on the melee minion. So, and the range minion will give you extra 10 gold if you take the killing blow. So, if you think about a wave that has two melee minion, one range minion, that's what. Oh, here we have the engage over here. Saber is jumping on Maya, but he gets ulted, he immediately dashed out. My, uh, Belmont coming in with another ultimate. In fact, they're gonna get clean up here. Uh, easy double kill for the blue team. Um, wonderful engages. Back to our math, right? Two melee minions give you 24 extra gold, plus one range minion give you extra 10 gold. That's 34 gold. Now, how much how much money does the range minion offer? 38. Basically, if you would take the last hit on the minions per wave before the cannon minions show up, you will get extra. You will basically get an extra range minion gold per wave. Okay, and that's insane because um, this literally like. For you, there's four minions in a wave, but for enemy, there's only three minions in a wave. Okay, if you consistently do that, you will be so much ahead. All right, it's a compounding effect. But you will be so much ahead, like in a, in a very short period of time. 
and KZ as a power farmer, he's always on top of those things. He's always paying attention to the last hit, and that's why he is right now 201 with 3200 gold. Where his enemies, like his Maya mid laner, is only level five, I think. Yeah, level, level five, and he's level eight. He's level eight right now. It was just, it just a amazing amount of farm, um, really, really quickly. Here, KZ ulted the enemy Yun Zhao here, Zilong. And what he did was he sit on top of Zilong. He made sure that he sit on top of Zilong. So when the blade recall and when he called the blade, it would do the most amount of damage. And here, he ulted the Maya. You, you see the amount of damage he's able to burst. The Maya has like big half of HP and Saber just coming one ulti and he made sure he was sitting on top of Maya before he used the first ability once again. When he called the blade, it instantly bursted Maya and he used one more auto attack to get a kill. After that, KZ knows his blue buff is out. He instantly come back to the blue buff and you saw what he did is he used the first ability to make sure that his blade is able to do damage on both the range minion and the blue buff so he can do a lot of damage to, to both monsters and clean them faster, right? After the blue, after the buff, he immediately come to lane because top lane has a huge wave over here for free, and you will notice that save uh, KZ is able to get every single, every single last hit in this entire wave. In the entire wave, he is already level ten right now with three zero two. His level three jungle item. His enemy Cho here is only level seven, and he take the small minion into the bush, quickly take it and get out. Right, and let's analyze his item build. He's actually going Flawless X. Magic shoes, and he goes to Magic Blade as the next item. Now, interesting item choices. Oh, look at this! Look at this disengage, though. What happens is we all know Yun Zhao is wear standard, wear standard. Um, it's not a really combo, just a practice. But Yun Zhao will charge you and then flip you, right? Like, like what he's doing now. So what KZ did is once Yun Zhao charged him, he instantly ulted to to cancel his flip. And after he cancels the flip, there's basically a timer in between. Oh, look at this! He able to kill. Uh, Fanny with one ult and one first ability, just the burst is insane right now because it's super farm, and that's that's what I'm saying. KZ on the saber, we have to farm a lot because he knows the limit, he knows like how much damage he can do with certain amount of farm, and he he's able to utilize that to the maximum extent, right? And and back to what I was saying here, um, he opts for Bloodlust and Magic Boots to get 20% cooldown reduction, and he has uh, blue buff, which gives him 40% cooldown reduction. So this way, he's already at 40%, uh, even though it's so hard to get a 40% right now if you don't have a blue buff, right? Especially for assassins like Hayabusa and Saber. You almost have to rely on a blue buff to complete your 40%. Otherwise, you have to get some really weird items to, to make that happen. So uh, after that, after she recall, immediately come back to Minion, his main red buff here, and start farming. And you notice that you notice what KZ is doing, okay? Here, we'll explain it in a little bit. But he started a small camp. He all attack it and he drag it to the blue buff. Make sure the blade touch the blue buff. He dash toward the blue and he re use retribution. He didn't all attack it and he get further away from the blue buff. Make sure his first ability then touch the range minion once again. In look at short succession, he able to take down all three minions in like matter of seconds. You know, matter of seconds. It's it's really really insane. Now obviously here he saw he's tried to test this uh, limit. I think he saw a killing opportunity on Yun Zhao, but he didn't end up taking it. So um, at least complete it. So here he he saw him dragging once again, dragging the jungle minion and the lane together. It's all about those efficiency. It's about it's all about um, those few seconds that matter to him a lot. Apparently, okay. Now I do want I do want to mention that this is this take practice. So don't feel bad if you're not able to do that successfully. If your minion get the aggro here, Saber engaging on Yun Zhao once again. He made a dash away and Yun Zhao flipped his in, in, uh, distinct or well, instinct flipped. Actually went on a minion instead. Okay, actually went on a minion instead. So which is quite unfortunate for Yun Zhao, but it's actually plan event for KZ. He ulted and he dashed away right after. He didn't hesitate. He didn't think about it because he knew the Zlone was gonna flip. And this way he dodged Zlone's flip and successfully killed him afterwards. But here he looks like he might be in some trouble. He almost killed Maya though, and that's another thing I want to mention over here because if you notice that. Um, the enemy uh, Cho was obviously on top of uh, KZ, but he didn't alter Cho, right? He didn't alter Cho. What he did was he had ultimate. He instantly used Hero Lock Mode on Maya because he knows that's a tar possible target that he can kill instantly. And he saw the damage over there. He almost killed Maya. If he had his first ability ready, if Cho wasn't being annoying, he can kill Maya pretty easily. Okay, Maya is zero four and one right now. You know he's five one and three. 
Um, so look at the gold, he has 8,000 gold, and Cho only has 4,400, he's the most farmed champion on enemy team. He doubled the farm of the most farmed champion on the enemy team. Okay, almost. It's freaking insane, alright? So this is what I talk about in my Saber rotation guy or Saber guy that I made before. For a champion like Saber, who has single target, you know, very strong single target claw control, make sure you have hero lock mode on. Because if you don't have that on, you're wasting, you're most likely going to use your all on a tank and waste the precious resources of your ultimate, which you don't have that very often. Here at Minify coming in, Saber instantly used the ultimate onto this Maya and he just died afterwards and he dashed towards Cho. What a great uh, and short and quick execution from uh, KZ's part. Able to take two kills and right now he's 7-1-3. He already completed his magic bl uh, deadly blade and then I noticed that KZ have deadly blade as core item on his kit. Now he didn't have to have, he, he always built Magic Blade, I'm sorry, Deadly Blade, even when enemy team does not have his Thies, okay? I think this is a great item after all because it adds a little bit more HP, 300 more extra HP for uh, for the for this assassin right here, and it gives a lot of damage at the same time it stops the lifesteal. So, I was thinking about it, yeah, because it will also work if you're solo against ADC, right? Because a lot of problem with ADC, you know, when you go against ADC is, a lot of the assassin who has short burst, you go and if you're not able to burst him down or her down instantly, what will happen is this champion will have a fighting chance and because of lifestyle from AD, they're able to lifestyle you and just sustain and you know and kill you in the end. So he can't attack that blade. I think the thinking process really behind it is to make sure that those ADCs, those marksmen are not gonna be useful in the late game because they're gonna be missing lifestyle. I'm gonna quickly activate the ultimate and run away. Saber decided not to shoot, not to chase because he realized that there's such a big di uh, gap between him and Zilong right now. But he did successfully protect the top tier 1 tower. And if you did not notice, right now on the entire map, because the pressure and the wave clearing he's able to do, he's doing the same trick over again. He's gonna drag the minion and drag the minion, drag the, uh, drag the jungle minion and drag the minion wave. And Yunjiao come here, try to fight Zilong. I try to fight Saber here. Saber made sure he has a lot of stack on him. And look at that! So don't thought he can next activate ultimate and run away, but unfortunately for him, KZ's burst is super high right now. He just used ultimate, uh, first ability, ultimate, and make sure he had a lot of stack on Zalong, and instantly dash used first ability again on top of Zalong, and that that great execution there, you uh, take, definitely take practice, but it's not definitely not um, you know complete undoable, uncopyable. So make sure you take those tricks into your into your pack, into your backpack, or into your mind. And start practicing those if you're a saber player who try to get better, right? Now, obviously, a lot of sabers still do not take retribution, including me. But if you do take retribution, this is a great farming. If you don't, even if you don't take uh, retribution, the farming techniques, including dragging the small, uh, dragging the a triple jungle minion on the left side, and also uh, power farming using two retributions or power farming by dragging the jungle minion and wave together. All those tips can help you a lot, so make sure that you take some notes and start practicing those. And here, he noticed that enemy team all on the bottom lane, he really dashed towards enemy hero tower, and Eudora is taking his time walking towards over here, doesn't seem like he has the opportunity to defend this, and in fact, KZ is going to get top hero tower while a team fight is going on bottom lane, you know? Definitely an MVP player right here, you know? He saw an opportunity, he instantly get it. And with Retribution as Saber, this you have to play extra careful. You know, you notice that he's not in a team fight all the time, but somehow he's always participating in all kinds of fights that his team is involved in. Um, it, it's just I think it's presence. He made sure the team fight uh, you know gets to him instead of him consistently looking for or constantly look for a team fight. You know, one of those thinking process that that if you, you I, I don't know how to execute it that well, but. Maybe, I don't even know if he's thinking about it to do that way, if he's intentionally doing it that way. But somehow, there's always team fight revolving around him. I think the reason why is he's able to push the wave all the time. And because he's able to push the wave all the time, the fight has to be revolving around him. Because they have to protect the tower, they have to protect the wave. You know, so, and then now Casey is going to bottom lane because bottom has a huge wave. Obviously, his entire teammate, he's solo queuing this score Sergeant ranked games. And... Um, and all the teammates, you know, just go for the greedy kills because top lane seems like there's some kind of kills that you can get. But KZ didn't do that. He immediately come to bottom lane, he clean the bottom lane, make sure he, what he value is farm, farm, and map pressure, okay? Obviously he saw Zalone pushing mid lane, he immediately come back to mid and stop the Zalone split pushing. 
and uh, Bruno was not able to gonna, not gonna stun right here because if Bruno stunned this Zalone when Zalone was running, that could have been an easy, easy kill. Okay, and now Saber noticed that enemy blue is out, so instead of taking his own blue, he comes to the enemy blue, right? And he's gonna take the enemy blue really easily. He noticed that Zalone is going bottom, so um, he was gonna go bottom, and but he decided to go mid first. Actually, actually he's just gonna go bottom, right? Clean the wave because. He want to make sure he matches Zalone's movement, make sure he doesn't split push, because Zalone is one of the most annoying champions who split pushes, right? And here you saw what KZ does is he go into the push and he makes sure that Zalone's not there anymore. Um, and Zalone recut, uh, actually Zalone is recalling place just now, so he was able to get away just in time. And uh, uh, at this right, at this point, KZ has been reached level 15 for a while now, and then he, at this point now, he sold his jungle item, if you notice, and he bought some an item called Endless Battle. Quite interesting item to be honest, because Saber does use a lot of abilities, and this Endless Battle true damage can trigger every few seconds. Is it's actually if you're going for the burst, it actually work out really well. And here Saber gonna stand in place, call the blade. Look at the amount of damage he's doing. He ulted this guy. He does have mortality. But it looks like he overextended his welcome right now, and KZ is gonna die right here. Yeah, definitely over welcome is uh, overstated his welcome, right? But he almost burst his reach out, I mean, Zlone. If the enemy team didn't have all five there, which he didn't expect, I'm pretty sure he's gonna kill that Zlone, you know, very, very easily. But unfortunately for KZ, the entire enemy team was there, and he didn't recognize the fact uh, that they're all there and just get absolutely game banged, right? Um, but right now, if you look at the level chart, his team right now, Bruno's level 14, Kill's level 15, everybody's catching up on farm, right? So it's no longer about farm anymore at this point, it's all about those executions. But because of the early advantages, right now, they are able to take down enemy with the tower in the top lane. And now enemy is going for the Lord once again. And then it looks like the team is interested in contesting it. So they're going to get a second Lord. So this game is becoming more and more uh, intense and more and more uh, difficult as we talk about it. Because KZ is obviously... Uh, playing a lot by himself right now because his inner team are interested in fights, not interested in objective, but KZ were interested in objective and uh, compared to fights. And then here, he's I me, mean, I like talk about this all the time. What's the purpose of winning a fight? The purpose of winning a fight is for you to go take objective. The purpose of winning a fight is not for you to go back to jungle farm. The purpose of winning objective is not for you to make, uh, make uh, to make you feel better. Yes, yeah, sometimes it's a mobile games or competitive. I can say that. I can I can see that how it can make you feel better. But that's not a purpose at all. The purpose of the team fight is for you to push objective so you can win the game. And in the team that right now, because they were able to kill KZ, they win for the Lord right away. Okay. They know that they got an MVP player, they got a golden player of the team. They know that they have eliminated the biggest threat uh, uh, that, you know, shine upon the, their team. In fact, he's, a, he's, come, he's gonna come over here, ult you onto this uh, Fanny, and Fanny is gonna die. Obviously, Fanny did not expect uh, the entire team, not entire team, almost entire team, Rafael is going top, but almost the entire team just dump on her, like how they dumped on KZ, right? <laughs> So now the wave is here and slowly getting here. KD is sitting here. I think he's just yeah, he's shopping actually. He sold one of his items for Blade of Despair. And in fact, that item is gonna be Deadly Blade. He recognized he realized the enemy team does not have a lot of life still. And what he's going for is actually for more damage because Saber's ultimate actually synergized very very well with Blade of Despair because it is a crawl control and Blade of Despair adds 60 30% extra damage to all crawl control, um, all champions are under crawl control effect, you know. So he's gonna get frozen right here because he got knocked up under uh, Maya's under Maya's ring there by Cho. But you can see, once again, all the lanes are pushed right onto enemy's door, on door front, and now they're in uh, a fanny just jumped onto the grave right here. He uh, come in, Saber instantly ulted, and he instantly died. Here, Aura has no idea what she's doing. He went to the front, and he just went on. The, he, he didn't know Maya was invasive and all attacking her. And just that bottom lane, uh, this Belmont and Saber is able to take down the bottom lane inhibitor tower. And because the midway just arrived, and they're gonna take down mid inhibitor tower as well. So with three inhibitor tower down. Oh, look at the burst gonna out on Eudora, and he does have immortality once again. And Cho most likely will die here, yes, indeed. And he, he has ultimate ready in another seven seconds, but seems like the game may not last that long, right? In fact, he's and he's trying to dodge tower, tower aggressive, tower aggro, and he's gonna all attack the Nexus in the game. So, with that, guys, I hope you guys learned something, especially regarding the power farming 
Let me know in the comment section what do you guys think about the power farming. Is it a technique that you're interested in learning? Is it a technique that can that's gonna help you a lot in the future? Saber gameplay, or even not even just saber. A lot of farming champions like Karina, all those people. Like, what? How are you gonna utilize it? So with that, guys, make sure to like and subscribe and turn the notification bell on for the more up to date, more updated, um, very very interesting, very very great high end. Mobile Legend ranked gameplay. So with that guys, Assassin Dave signing off. Love you guys and I'll see you guys in our next video.